there are energetic barriers that the Galactic Alliance establishes so that negatively oriented beings cannot enter our territory and we cannot enter their territory. All right, let's start. All right, yes, here we are. We thank you. We are the Pleiadian Council. We are very pleased to connect with you once again. Hi, I wanted to ask today about the Galactic Federation. Well, we call it a Galactic Alliance. Okay, a Galactic Alliance. Some people might call it a Galactic Federation. That's okay. Is it the same one? Yes. Okay. We are a peaceful coalition of many different groups of beings from different planets in co-creation with each other and mutual aid with each other, mutual exchange of information and technology and mutual protectorship of each other against more negatively oriented forces in the galaxy. Okay, and is it galactic or intergalactic? Mostly galactic, but we do connect with intergalactic beings as well. So it is intergalactic, yes, but there is a core group that is connected with this galaxy, you could say. How many uh, different species or beings are in there? Species around 125, representing around 30 to 50 star systems and civilizations. 30 to 50 planets or the star systems have multiple planets within them civilizations okay in other words for example we as the Pleiades, Pleiadian beings have different establishments on two different planets within the same star system we would count that as one civilization in this method of counting Oh, I see. Yes, because there's expansion and like um, moving on to a second planet, maybe a third planet. I, I understand. Yes, correct. So who are the main um, extraterrestrials that you contact the most? We are like siblings with the Syrian beings. They have been our teachers in many ways. They've been our guides. We have been guides to them as well. We also connect deeply with the Arcturian beings. We connect very much with you. There are many others that we learn from and support, but they are not so relevant for your purposes at this time. Okay, and the Syrians and Arcturians, can you describe their physiology and characteristics? How would we recognize them? Mainly Syrians are amphibian beings. They resemble sort of salamander humanoids. They have skin that is whitish to deep bluish, varying in tones. They have large eyes. They have gills, but they can live on land and in water. They have some variances in their appearance, of course. They are beings that spend a lot of time out of body. So they go into states of hibernation, but they are active in this hibernation. While their body rests underwater, their soul travels and does psychic work on other levels. It is often on these psychic planes that we make contact with them. I see. I see. The Arcturian beings are shape-shifting beings, and they have many different expressions as well, akin to the Syrian beings. They are harder to describe because of their nature. They are shape-shifters, and so they present different forms for different purposes. They are beings that exist on a non-physical plane and manifest on physical planes for the purpose of contact. So while some species evolve other species manifest their form from a spiritual plane and these are mm, those sorts of beings they manifest from spiritual planes they did not go through the same kind of evolution that other species went through okay thank you very much um how did this alliance in a way spark i mean i know you say time there is no time but 
Can you explain something about the formation or how it seemed to be? We started it with the Syrians to protect from the Orion civilization millions and millions of years ago. So what can you say about the Orions and what was happening? The Orion civilization was a very was under the grip of a very oppressive regime that controlled many different star systems and made entire slave planets. They were very dark and controlling, and they waged a great war against the Syrians. We evaded much of these experiences, though we eventually got involved as well. And we used our combined effort and mental strength and compassion to create protective barriers and use the force of the light to overcome these aggressive attacks. The <clears throat> Orion civilization continues to exist in a state of turmoil to this day, though the tides are gradually turning. The fate of the Orion civilization is entangled with your fate. And of course, there are many timelines of all different expressions of galactic civilizations. So there's still some variables and there's still things up in the air, you could say. Though we have contact with some members of the Orion civilization, they are still in a quarantine. There are energetic barriers that the Galactic Alliance establishes so that negatively oriented beings cannot enter our territory and we cannot enter their territory. It is a mutual agreement that we eventually came to. And that was some time ago. Yes. Um, so is the galaxy and the civilizations kind of split in two or this is just a local thing and other things happen elsewhere well there's the galactic alliance and there are warring civilizations and so the warring civilizations are scattered and separate and so in the sense that there is an alliance and there are warring civilizations there are two sides but then it, it, that wouldn't really do it justice there are also civilizations that are still in their development and don't have the technology to be intergalactically communicating just yet. This includes your civilization. There are other civilizations that we are aware of like yours. Are any of our science fiction television or, or movies expressing something of this, um, of what you're talking about, like Star Trek, things like that? Star Wars is a sort of parallel to the Orion conflict. Can you be more specific with aspect, aspects? The idea of an empire attempting to control many planets, attempting to destroy entire planets, enslaving races, and so on, and groups of people coming together to learn how to harness the light to overcome. This sort of mythology represents many of the aspects present in the Orion civilization. Okay, thank you very much. That's all for today. And our great thanks and our unconditional love to you as well. We wish you a fantastic rest of your day then. Thank you, thank you. Stars on a five-year mission beyond Jupiter and Mars, a celestial encounter on a future Noah's Ark, and you will hear us coming through a whisper in the dark. There's an Ewok close behind me as we try to disembark here, and Obi Wan Kenobi as we whisper in the dark. in the hold we'll
elevator so we won't be growing old As we speak our further minor with the strangers of the park Who can hear us on the phone as we whisper in the dark Thank you.